been ruled up. A bunch of people are being killed. Many kids are being killed. Many women are being killed. And the people are just looking on. The media is just looking on. The world is just looking on. The words that they usually say every day, almost every day. And if they don't say it, then they have it in their hearts. And these words are, Ya Allah, where are the Muslims? Ya Allah, where are the Muslims? Ya Allah, aren't we Muslims? Ya Allah, where is everyone? Where is the help? Ya Dual, Ya Al Arab, Ya Arab, Ya Kidnid Dual Nami, Ya Al Khalaya Nami, Hashoa Halkon, Nanan Allah, Ya Dual Buddana, Abirahna, Ela to Taifa, Nanala, Wada Shirua, Aman Rabaskan Shirua Kidnid Dual. Brothers and sisters, the world that we are living in now has many tremendous problems. The objective of Islam is not just to talk, it's not just to pray, it's not just to fast, it's not just to make adhkar, it's not just to practice the outside sunnah. It's not just to warn people about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not just to give da'wah and call people towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, the objective of Islam is to serve humanity and to solve their problems and to distinguish ourselves to become recognized by them to be arbiters. arbiters. That they trust us and that they listen to us because they know that we are not selfish and they know that we are concerned, genuinely concerned about them. None of us can give away 100% of what we have, but that's not what we are requesting. Even if we picked out two and a half percent of what we have, the crisis in the Ummah would be resolved. And the Syrian pro-Assad forces have kept up the punishing assault on civilians in eastern Ghouta, that's just outside Damascus. On Friday, the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights said the assault likely included war crimes and potentially crimes against humanity. <laughs> They don't know who is going to reach out to them, but we know that it's our obligation to find them and to find the most trustworthy people to go and fulfill the obligation. And we will help and assist so that when the assistance gets to them, Allah knows our name is on that path. And when they say, Ya Allah, you sent this morsel when my child was about to die of hunger. And Allah says, five grains of that rice came from this particular person. Somewhere else in the world, Allah knows. You saved a life. And when you save a life, Allah says, it is equivalent to having saved all lives. Entire humanity. Go home and evaluate yourself and evaluate your family. And ask yourself, and ask yourself and ask what have you done, have you done to contribute or to address 
the critical issues critical facing issues humanity. Facing humanity. The task force was set up by the Green Lane Mushet in 2012, which has since delivered over 3.5 million pounds of aid into war-torn regions. Every penny of your donation is monitored to ensure it safely reaches its destination. Furthermore, we have arranged for 100% of your donations to be used solely by the beneficiaries and covers all administration costs separately. Shelter a Syrian orphan for 12 months. You can help an orphan. 300 pounds supports one orphan. That's just 82p a day. Or you can feed the most oppressed Syrians. One ton of flour can provide bread for over 6,000 people. That's for only 300 pounds. Please donate using one of the following methods. Please quote bread or orphans with your donation. Visit us on www.taskforcegln.org or call our 24 hour donation hotline on 0121 713 0096. 